Hey guys, Tina here. Back with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install Lineage OS on your Android One Plus Three and what's working, what's not, are the features of the Lineage OS on your One Plus Three. So first, go into Settings and then go to About Phone option and then tap on the build number seven times to enable the developer option. So after enabling it, go to developer option and then select the Advanced Reboot option and enable it. So after enabling it, hold the power button and then click on the reboot button and then select the recovery option. Now click on OK and then wait for it to reboot into the recovery mode. In the meantime, why don't you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel to get more awesome cool videos like this. So after rebooting into TWRP, click on the restore I mean. Go back, click on the backup button and backup the current ROM so in case if anything goes wrong, you'll be able to revert it back to your old ROM. So after backing up, click on the wipe option and then swipe to factory reset. Wait for it to finish. Now go back and then click on the install and now select the lineage OS option and then swipe to confirm flash. This will take a minute or so, so I fast forward it to minimize your time. So after installing this, go back. Now you have to flash the gaps file that you downloaded from the link given in the description box to the 7.1 gaps file and I selected the Pico version so that you will barely get only the Google Play Store after installing it. Swipe to confirm flash. Select that and swipe to confirm flash and wait for it to install as this will take a minute or so. so after finishing it up, click on the reboot system button. And this will boot your Android phone, I mean your OnePlus 3 into the Lineage OS. So this may take some 5 to 10 minutes, so please be patient. This is the boot animation that you get with the Lineage OS. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The links for that will be in the description box, given in the description box. So if you have any doubt regarding this home, don't forget to comment on this video and I'll surely answer your questions. So here you go. That's how the OS boots up. Lineage. As you can see the welcome screen is similar to the Cyanogen mod 14.1. So this is asking my SIM card so I'll select it up and I'll start as a new fresh. So the Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine as you can see. So wait for it to finish this step and I'll add my Google account. So after adding it up, it'll ask some options, enable all this and go to next. So it's asking for fingerprint, let's add a fingerprint. You can see the fingerprint is working perfectly fine. You can even skip that too. So after adding the fingerprint, you can see there are additional settings, notifications. So that's it, guys. Now you successfully booted into the Lineage OS on our OnePlus 3. So it looks similar to the Cyanogen Mod 14.1 that it totally had. Going into setting about phone option. And as you can see, the version Android version is 7.1.1 and the lineage OS. So, this is the reset button. Go back. And it's the nightly build of the lineage OS for the OnePlus 3. Tapping on the build number 7 times will enable the developer options. As you can see, the developer options and the root access is even in this ROM. SRGB color mode is present but it's not working. The root access is disabled by default. You can enable it anytime. 
so as we mentioned the Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine and the Bluetooth is still kept on so that is working perfectly fine the sensor hard rotating sensor is working the sim card since let's go to our geo 4g and see that it's working so you can see the LTE option is coming up and enhanced 4G LTE mode is present and it's working perfectly fine when I try to call my mother through this the display option we have live display present in it so you can calibrate color through that and then we have option to change your font and the ambient display and next of going to sound we have normal sound options present in every other custom ROM here too. Going to battery, haven't even tested this ROM till fully. So, if you guys want a review of this ROM, don't forget to comment in the comment section. So the on screen navigation bar is present. You can change the layout and style of this. So, just as all the normal gestures are present here, you see camera and flashlight additional buttons here yeah, you can swap the buttons and the alert slider is not working in this ROM that's a sad thing to say but yeah still the alert slider is not working so you guys can see there is nothing coming up and no mute nothing whatever auto brightness is kept on that works double tap to wake and double tap to sleep this is our present in there and what else camera let's go in take a look at this camera the camera is same as the sign engine mod 14 and the camera quality is good so you can see the pictures are clicking but in a slow manner let's take a look of the picture that we clicked it's okay Let's go to video. Play Store is opening and it's going perfectly working. Get started. It's just the video option and say let's see whether it's recording or not. Spice can see it's recording and you have also the pause option on the top left corner near the recording timer let's play the video that we recorded so you have the screen record inbuilt screen recording option on this lineage OS room that's a good thing to have for many youtubers it will be helpful and then audio effects is present the same old signage in audio effects nothing fancy here so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video we'll see you guys in the next one peace